Hi everybody, I wanted to read this story called Chester's Colorful Easter Eggs. The author who wrote the words is Teresa Smith. She's also the illustrator who drew all the pictures. Now in this book, it has to do with different colors. So I'm wondering if you have colored your Easter eggs or if you have eggs that you have gone and hidden that are plastic. Maybe you've also gone on a color hunt for a assignment that Mrs. James and Mrs. Howard gave you to do because this book has different colors and I'm gonna let you read me the color word before I say it. Chester's Colorful Easter Eggs. There's the title page. On the day before Easter, Chester was excited to decorate eggs for the holiday. He boiled six eggs on the stove fixed himself a little snack, and put on his favorite music. There he is, boiling those eggs. Then he sat down with his crayons, tape, and an egg coloring kit. What color? R-E-D, red. First Chester colored an egg red and hid it in a nest full of baby birds outside Sydney's balcony. Green, G-R-E-E-N. Then Chester colored an egg green and hid it in one of Miss Kitty's flower pots. It's like he's making them camouflage. Yellow, Y-E-L-L-O-W. Then Chester colored an egg yellow and hid it under Rolf's hat while he was napping. Orange, O-R-A-N-G-E. Then Chester colored an egg and hid it inside Charlotte's sugar bowl when they had tea. Do you see it? Purple. P-U-R-P-L-E. Then Chester colored an egg purple and hid it behind Maurice's curtain during his piano lesson. And last, Chester colored an egg blue, B-L-U-E, and hid it in Frederick's water fountain on the rooftop just as it started to Rain, R-A-I-N, rain. On Easter morning, the sun began poking through the clouds and Chester's friends found all the eggs. Suddenly, a magical glow appeared on the eggs. Chester was tickled. Pink, and here's my pink egg. I hope you have fun with all your Easter eggs. Thanks for listening to Chester's Colorful Easter Eggs.